Yo, so check it. Amanda just got an electric can opener. Not just any can opener, an electric can opener. She's definitely opening up some cans. <laughs> Let's get right into this. Let's do it. Let's get into it, dude. Okay, so I got a Cuisine Art electric can opener. If you're asking, oh, why'd you pick that one? Well, I picked it because it's sturdy, quick cleanup, uh, one touch operation. I wanted it so it's just a click of a button and it opens up a can for you. That's what I got it for. But why did I really get it? I got it because I bought online some old cans of vintage food. Um, I believe one is either from the 1950s or 60s. The other one's a little bit later, 1980s. I'm gonna open it up and see what that food looks like today. All right, I'm ready to open her on up. Been waiting for this moment like my whole life. So, let's see. Get a nice shot of her here. Okay, it looks like a nice long cord. Okay. I actually wasn't expecting it to be this long because of other reviews I've read. It is too short. Dang, this is actually heavy. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. This is super sturdy. I think it's going to even open up my one can here, which I think is like three pounds. I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> That's pretty. Look at this thing, guys. Like, I've never even seen a can opener that looks like this. Haven't you? I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> what is this mysterious item? Did you actually get to, like, pick it up yet and feel it? I did not. Feel it. Right now, I'm just kind of scanning <laughs> it for the folks. Wow. She's got some weight to her, guys. She's girthy. I think right here is where you uh, clearly attach it on. It's magnetic. Boom. Pull it down. Opens the can. Opening up my first box of cans. It's my can. Okay, so, <laughs> wow, this is smaller than I expected, but I'm still excited. This is a can of Hershey's syrup, guys. I ordered this off eBay. The seller told me that this can of Hershey's syrup is probably from the 1970s to the 1980s. Oh, shoot. I have never even seen a can of Hershey's syrup, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Don't know how to open this safely. Here we go, you got a nice shot of it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so cute. What? <laughs> wow. Do you see this? I've never seen such a little small can. Tip it back so I can get a close up on it. Like this? Yeah, right there. Genuine chocolate. And then if you look here, the contents of this can are sufficient to flavor one to one and a half quarts of milk 
If thinner syrup is desired, place open can in warm water and stir. Store open can in refrigerator. Wow. That's crazy. That thing looks super old. And it, there's actually food in this can, I can tell. What? Oh, I'm so excited. Yo, this thing feels weird, man. It's like a can of flour, but it ain't making crazy noises. Yeah. It's got some weight to it, too, but it feels solid. Solid, man. I'm going to show you guys what else I bought. Got a missile on that second one there. <laughs> it's okay though. I did. <laughs> She's just gonna tough it out. Ooh, what's She's going on in here? It. Looks like there's something Whoa. additional. Whoa. 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 Okay. Thank you. Vintage Funk Astoria. Shout out to them. All right. Check out their eBay page. I'm so excited about it. It looks huge. <gasps> Dude, are we going to be able to open this what? one with a can opener? I'm low key questioning it. Holy that thing is a whopper. Crap. This is a huge can Yo, right here. Look at that thing. Look at that. You it's hear like it? a basketball. What? What's in there? It's a surprise. <laughs> Dang. Can I get it open? <laughs> look how Jeez, old that is already that from thing. the top. Let's get a close up in there. All these old cans, um, I don't know. They have like this 3D lettering on it. There we go. You can start to see what I bought. Woo, okay. So if you can't tell, this is a can of dried peaches, I believe. This one for sure is the old one. Wow, it says vacuum dry, low moisture peach slices. What? This looks like a bucket of paint, honestly. It really does. It's about the size of a bucket of paint. It's a little smaller. Not as heavy, obviously. This is the one I was told that was um, produced sometime in the 1950s. I'm trying to actually find that on the label. It's such an old can that they may have just not put it on here. I don't know. Peach slices. That's a dry company. There's other cans of food here. We found out there's actually no food in here. Right, so first we gotta make room. Now that we got room, we can open these cans. That felt solid. It didn't even feel like there was liquid in there. It still looks pretty good. Like, that does not look bad. Huh. I'm actually going to pour some of it out on this plate. Is there chunkier parts to it? No, like that looks so smooth. Wow. Hershey's syrup really held up well. That's almost concerning. <laughs> <laughs> it I looks know. like nice chocolate syrup or chocolate icing or something. It looks more like chocolate uh, icing or like cake. Like kind of looks like brownie mix or something. Yeah, right? Oh. Crazy. 
I was expecting it not to look so good. Honestly, I thought it was going to be solidified for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pictured it being like a sludge, not just, you know, so syrupy. Yo, I'm going in for a sniff. Yeah, let's go in for a sniff. Dude, it still smells exactly Let like me Hershey see. syrup. It doesn't smell like it aged a day. It smells just like regular Hershey syrup. Like, there's no decay. No. Honestly, dude, I'd try it if I wasn't afraid to get botulism. <laughs> We're just afraid of getting botulism. Botulism is the only thing standing between me and this chocolate syrup, I tell you what. Look, it's even, it's even got a nice drizz to it. It's got yeah. a nice little drizz. You do a little decorative art. That's nice and terrible, but hey, we'll call it abstract, kids. Folks, adults, people, we'll call it abstract. I think it's finally empty, huh? I think so. Let's take a look inside real quick. Honestly, it, just, it looks tasty in there. It looks delicious in there. It looks delicious. I don't know, man. It's pretty sus. Yeah. Doesn't look like it aged much. It's kind of thick. Yeah. I feel like it's always this thick, isn't it? Yeah. At the same time, it does. I don't know. It's almost like pudding. Mm. Maybe. Huh. Should I talk on this one or no? Nah, fuck it. Okay. Is it gonna do it? Oh, oh shit, it released some kind of gas. I don't know what's happening here. Help! Should I pull it? It's not turning. It's not turning. Pull it up. <laughs> I figured we were gonna have a hard time with this one. <laughs> okay, let's 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 see if we can try it again. John's gonna try to open it up here. Mm -hmm. This is a big can here, it's so I don't know. Big. Oh my god! What? Oh, there's a smell there's a smell coming out of there. My god. I'm that telling you when it popped it like a gas came out of there. My god. No lie. Oh my god, that's that smells disgusting. This is the one from like the oh. 1950s, so I can only imagine what this one's gonna be like. Please get it open. Oh! <gasps> Here we go! Is this the biggest can to ever be used in a can? I think opener? this is like three pounds. Oh! We're oh. getting stuck! This is crucial, guys. <laughs> Stuffing through it. That's nasty. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not even kidding. It's Is it really that bad? It's I'm kind of scared. I'm going to cover up my face now. It's nauseating. We'll be right back, folks. All right, yo, so we, I had to get masked out because this stuff was super funkadelic. So let's get back into it. Let's see if it can handle it. Let's get it open. No, 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 I can still smell it through it. Jesus. Okay, so after masking up even further, I will try to open this again. Do not try this at home. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're having a real hard time with it. Oh, here we go. Are we getting some traction? Here we go. Come on. We may just have to switch to the hand opener for this, guys. Here we go. Is it working? No. 
All right, guys, it turned out to be too tough for the electric. <laughs> it was too tough for it. We may have even burned out our motor and we might need to buy another one. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it with the hand cranker. Old Faithful. So I'm gonna run through the parts oh, we already hit. Oh, man. Oh, damn. This is no can, guys. Dang, I can feel it, it's tough. Yeah. Woo! It feels like it's too much for the old handy dandy. <laughs> there we go, you hear it popping? Yeah. Oh yeah, brother. You get this. Oh yeah, brother. Dang, dude, it locked up. Oh man. Oh, dude, me. dude. I think we got it open. I think I got it. We're going to have to switch sides for the bigger Oh, I got that beast right angle. It popped. It popped. Look at it. It popped. Woo As you can see, Amanda's masked up and ready to go for this. I'm ready to go. I don't want to breathe in whatever is going on in this can. Me neither. Got a plate here. Let's take a look. I'm actually going to open it up with a spoon. Okay. Oh, man. I'm already freaked out. Okay. Dude, the smell is just revolting, man. Whoa. Oh. Look around in there. <coughs> These are old peaches. They kind of look like sweet potatoes. Don't they? Dude, don't mix them around. And why? Is that emitting quite the gas there? Yeah, dude. All right, I'm just going to put a couple on a plate. I'm catching that through the M95. All right, so let's see. You sound like rocks. It looks weird, dude. Yeah, they don't look like fruit anymore. This looks like meat. Or even like little pieces of bark. Like this looks like old rotten meat or something. This reminds me of the inside of an alligator skull. Does it? If y'all, if anybody's from Louisiana or, or down South Texas, you see a lot of gator skulls, you look at the inside of it, be looking like that piece in the middle. Right there. <laughs> Oof. Dude, this is a big can right here. Like, I don't even know what we're going to do with all that. I'm not sure what we're going to do <laughs> with all of this old food. <laughs> How are we going to get rid of this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is it toxic? Is there, I don't know. Is there proper disposal for this? If if there's like a right way to throw this away, let me know. Because I don't know. Can we make this into some kind of compost or fertilizer? Let us know in the comments below. Can we reuse this? Let us know, cause we're not pros, and we got a, we got like a damn gallon of rotten fruits, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever this is. It's about the size of a gallon. Look at this thing, yeah. dude. That's bigger than a can of planters peanuts, boy. Bigger than a can of planters peanuts. There's our can uh, lid again. That's what it looks like on the back side. Clean. Yeah, it actually looks really clean on this side. That's a little number there. A little stamp, if that means anything to you. If you know what that even means, let me know. Let's get a couple, couple quick notes here. Let's take a look at what we got on the back here. It says cooked peaches. Add contents of this tin into seven and a half quarts of water. Heat to a boil. Huh. All right. So it looks like you're using this to make stuff like peach gobbler filling. Oh, shucks. Applesauce nuggets? What are those? Fruit Galaxy? It sounds like they had some fire names for back in the day. 
Jeez, look at the can opener put in some work trying to grind this sucker up. Look at that thing. I gotta give it to that new can opener. It kicked some ass. Look, it was eating this beast up. But it was just too big. Woo! It was just too big. So, in conclusion. Thanks for watching us opening up these old cans of food. Comment down below if you enjoyed watching this video. We love doing weird, crazy stuff like this. Subscribe. Also, just a little side note. We just got over a thousand subscribers. So thank you, people. You guys are amazing. You're amazing. Thank you very much. We appreciate the support and the love. You're my best friend. <laughs>